In the last video, we saw how to use the limit comparison test and properties of the p-series to determine the convergence of a series. But what happens when you cannot reduce your series to contain only powers of n? In this case, we cannot use the limit comparison test and we must consider another method. One of the most commonly used tests is the ratio test, which is especially useful when a series contains exponential or factorial terms. Let the sum from 0 to infinity of a n be a series whose terms are non-zero and let l equal the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a n plus 1 divided by a n. Then, if l is less than 1, the series converges. If l is greater than 1, the series diverges. And if l is equal to 1, the test is inconclusive and we must use another test. So let's test the series from n equals 0 to infinity of 5n divided by n factorial for convergence. So the ratio test states that we must calculate the limit as n goes to infinity of a n plus 1 divided by a n. So a n, the general term of the sequence, is given by 5n over n factorial. and a n plus 1 is obtained by replacing n with n plus 1 in a n, so we have 5 to the n plus 1, all divided by n plus 1 factorial. So a n plus 1 divided by a n equals 5 to the n plus 1, all divided by n plus 1 factorial, all divided by a n, which is 5 to the n, all over n factorial. And as division is simply the opposite of multiplication, we can rewrite this more tidily as 5 to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial multiplied by n factorial all over 5 to the n. Now 5 to the n plus 1 is simply 5 to the n multiplied by 5 to the 1. So we have 5 to the n multiplied by 5 to the 1. And n plus 1 factorial is simply n plus 1 multiplied by n factorial and this is all multiplied by n factorial all over 5 to the n and now we can see that the exponentials cancel so 5 to the n cancels with 5 to the n and the factorials cancel so n factorial cancels with n factorial and we're simply left with 5 over n to plus 1 so now the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a n plus 1 over a n equals the limit as n goes to infinity the absolute value of 5 all over n plus 1 which simply is the limit as n goes to infinity of 5 over n plus 1 as 5 over n plus 1 is already positive and now if we calculate the limit we have 5 over infinity or simply 0. So as 0 is less than 1 we can conclude that the series converges.